First exercise is going to test your agility skills. Are you able to move and change direction at speed, keeping control of your body? If you haven't got a ball, that's okay. You don't need one. You can do this without. Make sure you drink plenty of water in between exercises as the temperature is getting a lot hotter now. Exercise two is a directional jump. So you are jumping up and forwards to the right or the left and back. I've done it in a square to make it a little bit more challenging. If you find this too hard, you can do it on the spot. This will help in a game of handball with your core strength as you will spend some time in the game stretching and reaching, jumping for the ball. This is your 30 second rest period. Make sure you are drinking plenty of water in between exercises. Exercise three is practicing your passing and receiving skills. If you have a partner, you could do this together. If not, you can use a wall like I am. To increase the difficulty, you can move in a different direction, either side to side or forward and back. Make sure you get your 30 seconds rest and a drink of water and while you are waiting on this one you can practice your ball handling skills. This will improve your hand-eye coordination for a game of handball. Exercise 4 is side to side shuttle runs. You don't need a ball to practice this exercise. You just need to be able to change back direction, come back into the centre. You can also go forwards and backwards as well as right and left. Time for another water break. Make sure you are keeping yourself hydrated in between your exercises. Exercise five is a vertical ball throw. Throwing the ball into the air and catching it on landing. If you want to do this like me, you can add in a little jump in between just to increase the difficulty. Make sure you keep your eye on the ball at all times so you can make it easier to receive. To make it more difficult, you could use just one hand to throw and receive. Well done, I'm completing another Fit5. Don't forget to tag us on social media.